Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Gino Reynolds and this is WAND Presents The Real Gino. Today we're going to take a look at a movie that is based on a true story about a man trying to bring attention to the way veterans are treated by the government after their time in the service is over. So, let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. John Boyega plays former Marine Brian Brown Easley in Breaking. When he doesn't receive his military disability check because of what is implied as a fault in the VA system, Brown easily takes hostages at a local Wells Fargo to make his message known. Leave right now. The guy in the gray hoodie is robbing the bank. Who's in charge here? Well, she is, but we're both. I'm, I'm the manager. Estelle Valerie. Still, huh? once they leave, you lock the front and back doors, you understand me? You lock them all. In a movie that has a heavily character-driven story like this one, you need a cast that is up to the task. Leading the charge is John Boyega, proving once again that Disney let us all down with what they gave him to work with in the latest two Star Wars movies. There are times that he has to show a huge range of emotions that can flip on a dime and he handles them really well. He plays a character that not only has PTSD from his time in the Marines, but also suffered from paranoia and schizophrenia, so his performance is required to be all over the place. Again, Boyega does an outstanding job. Leading the fantastic supporting cast is the late, great Michael K. Williams in one of his last roles. He plays a renamed version of the hostage negotiator that is tasked with trying to stop the hostage crisis. His character is also a former Marine, so he is able to strike up a rapport with Boyega's character. Being that Williams was always great, I don't really need to tell you that they worked very well together. My best advice to you before seeing this is that if you don't know the story already, watch the movie first. This is one of those stories that knowing the ending may or may not ruin the impact of the message and the movie's endgame. I didn't know anything about this one before going in and I can tell you that a lot of what goes on hit me like a ton of bricks. Also, according to some of the real people involved, the story is mostly pretty accurate in its adaptation. After seeing it, if you want to know more, I would always advise checking out History vs. Hollywood, either on their website or on their YouTube channel. I'll put a link to both in the description below. Breaking is well acted, tense, and will keep your interest until the very end. If it isn't very obvious by now, this is one that I would recommend. That's going to be it for this edition of WAND Presents The Real Gino. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gino Reynolds. Till next time.